Born in 1974 in Dublin, this slippery scrum half graced the international rugby pitch 51 times in the white of England. Following his retirement, Kieran Bracken won ITV skating show Dancing on Ice. Well, the perfect start to England's Six Nations campaign. Kieran, can they back it up against Ireland in Dublin? I'm unsure, really. I'm torn. One day I think so, the next day not, not so. Um, I think this England team have turned the corner after New Zealand game. Bear in mind, you know, they've come off the back of quite a tough last few years, coaching and players and captaincy, and I think they now have a real team that developed for the World Cup. Can they go away from home and beat Ireland? I'm not so sure. The Ireland team were under much more difficult circumstances at the weekend. They came to Millennium Stadium, you know, Grand Slam champions, and they annihilated them. Whilst Wales didn't play well, Ireland did very well away from home. Yes, they let in some tries in the second half. A few sin bins probably didn't help. But they're going back home, and they're playing at home. They're in the comfortable environment. And now it's England who are tested. England are going away from home where they did well against Scotland. But can they win away from home in Ireland? They haven't done it since 2003. What is it that gives them a chance to do that? Um, yes, Manu Tuolangi may be fit. They feel confident. They got a win against Scotland. You know, tricky game, but do they have enough to beat Ireland? I'm not so sure. Fascinating matchup, though. The two tens, Sexton and Farrell, potentially a battle for that British Lions mm. jersey. Yeah, it's almost like a Lions trial for both teams. You know, I think Sexton has, has got a bit more of an all-round game for me. I mean, his kicking is pretty much like Farrell's, both of them dead eye, you can't give away penalties. And, and bear in mind with Farrell, he hasn't played that much at 10 in the Premiership, so for him to come up, is, he's got some genetics from his old man, Andy Farrell. Um, but I think all round the pitch, there's massive lineups. You look in the back row as well, I mean, you've got two captains against each other. In the second row, again, you've got matchups. Front row, you know, lots of, lots of people talking about some of the Irish players being the line certainty in the front row. For me, people like Tom Youngs are really are really coming to the fore. You've got Cole, who's a world class tight head now. It's just it's just so mouth watering to see how it's going to turn out. You know, the Irish back row, they've got some big old lumps out there who run around the place. But I, I kind of feel maybe at the breakdown, England will have the edge. Um, I know there's a lot of ball carriers in the Irish back row, but um, I'm just thinking it's going to come down to the tiniest little thing. It's going to be a drop goal at the right time. It's going to be a long kick from Farrell or it's going to be a sending off or it's going to be a decision from the referee you know and I just think it's going to be marginal errors that, that are going to make the difference. Okay prediction for the scoreline? Well, can, I, can I if I go for a draw will that be bottling it? Yes. Um, that will be drop <laughs> bottling it. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be about 25 all however if I had to go one way I'm guessing it's going to go 26-25 to the Irish however if there's a sending off or a yellow card, it will be the other way around. That's a bit sitting on the fence. Though. It is a little bit, isn't it? All right, it's going to be 26-25 to Ireland. Thank you very much. Am I unpatriotic, though? <laughs>